Welcome back to Breakfast Television. I don't know if you know what happens in the breaks, but I had to run and change uh, into this very complicated shirt, and it was very close to a wardrobe malfunction, but we made it. Welcome. We did make it. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, human uh, uh, Performance Specialist. Is that actually the title? Human Performance? Yeah, absolutely. It's not just about the sets and reps. It's about everything else, because anybody can work out. Performance. Uh, and Empower and Just Messiah's uh, Physiotherapist, thank you so much for being here today. Awesome. So what, what are we focusing on today? We've got, uh, you know, I've got a bike ride coming up. So yeah, so rumor has it. We're getting ready for a bike ride, and it is the season, so we're trying to get you, you, Maybe. and all of us, first of all, stronger, more stable on the bike, but like also keep in mind of all of the stuff that can go wrong or potentially like overuse that's injuries, <laughs> which is that's Jess's domain, so I'll let him uh, talk about I'll, that. Uh, I'll probably come and uh, see you soon because I like training is going to be key, right? And I've I've been on a bike twice so far before this cool, bike ride. Cool, cool, cool. Um, so, uh, <laughs> like, yeah, literally, the last time I was on a bike, it had streamers and a banana seat. Uh, nice. So where do we start then? The key, the key areas to address. Yeah. So, so let's keep it very simple. Let's think about what's moving you on the bike. It's your legs, it's your hips, it's everything there. We just want to make sure that those muscles are strong enough and, and able to fire when you want them to on the bike. We also want to make sure that after the race, after being hunched over that bike for so long, that you can open up the shoulders, open up the back a little bit more. So those are some things we'll look at today. Okay. Just, just as simply, so you're in that pattern very often, so that it's important to be able to, if you're, not, if you're riding a long time and you come up to a hill, you have to be used to or experience Exposed to like the stress of like legs always under tension and then right. pushing and pulling with the pedals. So this machine, a K box from Eccentric, you can grab this from Remington Medical up here in Canada or Eccentric if you're in the States. It's and the intense. concept of this thing is you're continuously having tension on your legs. So if you have access to this, this is an amazing tool. Wow. So the thing, the concept behind this is it pulls you down with as much force as you push up with it. So you see it kind of yanking. I guess there's no way I can like I can try that. Yeah, it's totally. a little tense to, uh, No, yeah. you definitely what can I, try what, it. What would I clip that? <laughs> I feel like this is like some sort it's, of medieval here. sex device. Here, first of all, put this on like a like a backpack. Okay. We'll do this in ten seconds here. So Jess, if you don't have access to this, Jess and do this. I'll grab your clipboard. We'll do this. Can you put those two things together in front of you. Give me the other clip. Oh. Put the hands up. You're ready for okay, squat, 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 squat. There we go. So. Yeah. One, two, three. It's set up. Okay. Good. And, and all then, you're gonna do is right. come down just when it pulls down. you down, and then stand up. Stand up with it. I, uh, I'm stand trying. Up. No, I'm trying. Stand up. <laughs> okay. Stand oh, up. Now come down with this. Squat okay. down with it. And stand up again. <laughs> there you go. This is like a mini. I think I saw this on Game of Thrones right before the guy got his head cut off. Um, <laughs> exactly. Okay. So, okay. so you're feeling this in your legs right I'm now, right? Feeling it all over. Yeah. Cool. So this is keeping that tension and keeping the power in your legs while you're doing the exercise, oh, which I is see. the same kind of pattern you'll get on the bike. Right, okay, so let's say we didn't have this, you could do it with your with your elastic band. Yeah, so let me unhook you here so you don't feel so tied on. <laughs> and it's that easy to unhook it. So if you have an elastic band or some dumbbells or anything like that, just like Jess is doing, he's right. doing more of a squat, I can do more of a deadlift. Okay. And it's just keeping the legs kind of bent a little bit at the top. Okay, so that so just it's keeping keeps the tension the, the, there. Yeah, exactly, the because form. you are in this position riding on the bike. Right, okay. Right? But it's important to understand that you're going to always be in this position, so you have to open up those hips when you're off the bike. Right. So we're talking about training inside the gym. Yeah. So things like, Jess can do a lateral lunge. Can you do that, Chantel? I mean, obviously. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to ex explode the hips there. There we go, yeah. Can we keep this Thank foot you. nice and flat in the ground? All right, that's what I meant to do. I was just making there sure go. you're on your toes. Yeah, you exactly. Cool. <laughs> Thank um, you. Right, so okay. things like that. So open up the hip right. from a side aspect, the adductor or the, the groin. And we can, yeah. And we can also go forwards. So okay. can you step with, put your one foot on the box right here. There we go. Okay. And can we go straight down? Okay, okay. And straight back up. Now, this is going to help me do the 220 kilometer ride. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Just, just do 220 of these okay. and you'll be fine. That's it. Just on my right, just on my right leg. I am, I am just kidding. So, this, <laughs> the idea here is you feel a little bit of a stretch in that back leg. Yeah. Did you? I did. I felt all the awesome. stretches. And you feel a little bit of tension yep. here in this front I leg. I feel lots of tension. And, and the butt's working the and butt, the hamstrings yeah, are working. The butt so, all, is... the, all the great things. Okay, good. So, um, last, thing, last thing to know, I know we're running out of time here yeah. and you're starting to sweat. Can you grab this band right here? Yeah. Jess, sure can you show where the band pull apart? This is Jess's favorite. Now, so I'm on a bike. Why do I need to work my arms? Not your arms. Do a couple reps. Tell me what you feel. Oh, God, my back. There you go. My shoulders. There you go. Okay. So, so you're going to be hunched over or leaning on the handlebars. That's fine. It's part of the sport. Right. But, like, we don't live in this position. And we, we know that this leads to all neck, shoulder, like, back problems. So we have to strengthen the muscles behind. So when we get off the bike, we have nice, sexy, strong posture because beach body. It is beach, the season. Because of beach body. Because um, of beach body. Well, thank you. I think I'm, uh, I'm either going to be ready for this bike ride or I'm just going to uh, have a nap and uh, totally. sleep through till Monday. Are you sweating yet? I, I, can't even, I, can't even, I can't even see what's happening right now. Rich Thaw, Human Performance Specialist at Empower. Thank you so much. You're Jess, I will be coming to see you, the physiotherapist, as soon as this 220-kilometer bike ride is done. <laughs>
Good In the luck. meantime, uh, stick around because there's more of this stuff and squats coming up on breakfast television right after I catch my breath. <laughs> yeah.